Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcome to episode 3, shut up Tattle. Whatever, I know. Whoa, you don't even have 3 days left. And that was the wrong voice, but whatever. Welcome you back to episode 3 of the Leg Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I was about to say Ocarina of Time there, actually, but whatever. Ooh, this guy's getting darker. It's getting to evening. Alright, uh, let's talk to this guy. What's he doing? What do you want, shrimp? I'm busy practicing with my blowgun. If you can't pop that balloon, then don't mess with Jim. Grrr. Grrr, so angry. So angry. Anyways, so let's help him pop that balloon with our bubble here. Basically just the fair the controls that the fairy told you. Nothing different. She didn't, like... It wasn't a red herring or anything. Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside of town. Hey, that could be useful. Since the great fairy said that we need to go talk to the old guy who runs the observatory. I don't know why. Why would he know anything about the Skull Kid? But don't but you don't think that you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You have to pass my test first. Are you ready? I'm ready more ready than I'm ever gonna be in my life. Yes. Oh god. Well uh, quintuplets? Something? If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? And, oh, that guy's late, and he fell over. That guy's a noob, you need to kick him out. Alright, so, um, the positions of these guys are never are never different, I think. Yeah, see, the first one is right here. She got him already. Oh, you caught me. Now there are only four left. Yep. And they just, like, look at them, they just sit down, all cute-like, when they get caught that little tuft of hair on the front of their forehead. It's so adorable. I know. Ooh, night of the first day. 60 hours remain. Except not really 60 hours, because the clock goes so freaking fast. Oh, here's the leader of them, Jim. Oh, caught him. Oh, you caught me. Now there are only three left. Oh, hello. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything suspicious. Really? Well, you look like you are. You're just staring at that freaking wall. What do you want, Tao? Oh, wow, we have to play these stupid brats' little games. Come on, hurry up and find them already. Only 11 minutes and 30 seconds. Oh, oh, only 11 hours and 30 minutes and left until morning. Whatever. Okay, so let's head to East Clock Town now. Or is it West? No, I think it's East. Um, let's find out. Is it East? Is it East? East Clock Town called it. Hell yeah. Right, um, this guy looks like one of them, but he's not one of them. He's just jumping up and down, so happy, guarding that area, whatever it is. But there is one up here. He's holding Kuko, and he's just gonna fly away like a little bastard. This one's actually the pro probably the hardest to catch for me, anyways. Damn it. Yeah. See, I got e I got lucky catching those first two, because these guys can get really hard to catch really easily. Oh, got him. Sweet. And yeah, only two left, and one of them is in East Clock Town. You can actually see him up there. On top of that roof, whatever that, that is up there. Hoot hoot. <laughs> Link makes such high pitched sounds as a Deku scrub. I never even noted that until like even this playthrough. I never really thought of that as weird, but and I still don't really think of it as weird. Just just comes with being a Deku scrub, I guess. Oh damn it! I thought you were still there. Thought I'd trap you. You're gonna go over by your buddy? Fine. Gotcha. Oh, <laughs> that is sweet. Look at that. Just two of them sitting right side by side they're even we they're wearing the same clothes they're like bobbing their foot at the same time they're doing they are identical twins freak hey carpenter awesome this poster's this poster's an eyesore what a sore collection of cowards look yak foo well you're so why so angry dude life's too short to be an angry at the smallest little things jeez and here's the final area of Clock Town. It is, as you could probably imagine, West Clock Town. And there's some random girls dancing up there. I don't know if you saw that. Um, this guy up here. He, this guy is actually rather important. He's the sell you stuff with C guy from the first game. Remember? Hey there, little guy. Won't you deposit some rupees? Nowadays, even if people have money, they don't deposit any. Nothing. Nothing. So for a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you'll get an item that holds a, l a lot of rupees. Gee, I wonder what that could be. Maybe a bigger wallet? So what'll it be? I'll deposit some rupees, sure. 
All right. So, how much are you going to deposit? How? Yes. Whatever. Um, for now, I'll just deposit twelve, so I have an even fifty. Yes. Seriously, that's a lot. A lot. A lot. Not really. Jeez, calm your pants, man. So, little guy, what's your name? Hmm. Argon, is it? Got it. I won't forget your deposits. Let me stamp you with my special thing. Hey, relax. I don't leave any mark. It doesn't leave any marks, so it's not gonna hurt. What? A stamp that doesn't leave any marks? How is that possible? There. Now, you, now I know when I see you. All right, little guy. Now I've got a total of twelve rupees from you. Come back and deposit some after you saved a bunch. Yep. So he's a lot more useful in this game than in the in an Ocarina of Time. We never actually talked to him in Ocarina of Time. Final bomber. Hell yeah. Let's get him. Get him. Gotcha. Number two. Ah, no way. You finally got me. Yep. All right. Now, you're pretty good for a Deku scrub. If only you were human. Then I could give you an original bomber's notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way! No scrubs! Dude, that's racist. That's totally racist. I never thought I'd see that in a Zelda game. I guess not. Once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy, did we ever regret it. Sorry, but I'll teach you the code just like I promised. I can tell you only once, so pay close attention. Are you ready? And the code is... You've got to be fucking kidding me. That's the easiest code ever. The code is 54321. The entrance to our hideout is in East Clock Town. Wow. That is the easiest code I could have possibly gotten other than like 12345. Really? I have never seen someone get a code so freaking easy. Oh yeah, he's not here. I was looking for some guy that we haven't met quite yet. He's rather annoying, but I guess we'll see him later. Alright, so what do we do with this code exactly, you might ask? Like, what what purpose does it serve? Why do we need it? What's red? What's blue? Who cares? Um, by the way, I think I'm just going to show this. If you come up here and talk to this guy, do you remember the code? It's 54321. Go to the secret hideout before you forget it. It's in East Clock Town. You mean here? In this area? Yeah, so if you ever forget the code, like, the gym won't tell you the leader, but this guy will. So, yeah. Bomber's Weekly News. A special review of the Bomber's Notebook. You too can master it. Seek out troubled individuals and lend an ear. A record of all the troubled people you meet will be kept in your notebook schedule. Do get out of the way of my freaking sign. People are shown on the left column and their schedule appears at the adjacent row. Blue bars show people get yeah, Whatever, we'll learn about this later. Don't worry. Okay, so, yep. Come talk to this guy that looks exactly like the other ones, but he wasn't hiding like the rest of men. He's wearing a yellow bandana instead of a blue or red one. If you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. And the code is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Um, that's right. If you know the code, then you remember, right? Okay, here you go. And he just walks out of the way, slowly jaunters out of the way. There's a lot of cool stuff for that telescope guy's place. That telescope guy? Don't you know anything? You mean an astronomer? Or a scopomagographer? In other words? Alright, where are we now? Still in East Clock Town, I guess? Because there was no title here. Whatever, it's basically a sewer. Um, there's actually a big hallway that way, but you can't get there with the five hops that you get across water as a Deku scrub. So just head the obvious way across these many platforms. Cool. Right, and watch out for that guy. He's there's a sculpture there. Uh, yeah, actually, something I should also note: there are no gold sculptures in this game. Well, actually, technically there are, but they're not like scattered around the world, just like the rest of them. I mean, just like an Ocarina of Time. Um, we'll get into that more once we reach the area that involves gold sculptures. But for now, we don't need to worry about that. But there are still hard pieces, so you're gonna have to worry about that still. Yeah. They didn't take out all the side questing of tediousness and stuff. Okay. Up we go here, and let's head in here. Whatever could this place be? Oh. And I love the music in here, by the way. Just I'm just going to shut up for a minute and let you listen. Yeah, it's just so soothing and calming. I don't know, something about it is just awesome. Recognize you. 
Yo, hey baby, I'm Style and Scarecrow, wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget about the time and dance till dawn. Shall we dance? No, not yet. Oh, sorry, that's too bad. In that case, come back anytime if you decide you want to dance. By the way, I know of a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Do you want to learn it? Well, not right now, because I don't really have an instrument at the moment. Because that jackass skull kid stole my ocarina. But yeah, basically, if you say yes to dance with him, then you will basically... It's basically a warp to the next 12-hour se segment, so it would take me to, like, the dawn of the second day. And if I danced with him again, it would take me to the night of the second day, so on and so forth. Yep. Um, yeah. This guy actually was an Ocarina of Time, I think, but... Like, this astronomer guy, but he... We never talked to him or anything. Well, well, what a strange-looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bombers Gang? Hmm. Your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friend from the other day. Huff, huff, huff. That ill-mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. Damn him. Damn him in his face. He said he'd steal my moons, too. There was no stopping him. He was like an angry bull on a rampage through a china shop. Except not really, because bulls are actually rather careful in china shops. Even now, just watching, he's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? Uh, sure, why not? Whatever. Let's scope out this guy. Ha ha. Yep. I'm doing a lot more voice acting in this game than I was in Ocarina of Time. Have you noticed that? Probably. What are you doing up there, Skull Kid? Yeah. Oh hey, there's the moon from the intro. With the big scary face. When I first played this game, that face just scared me to death. Like, just the look of it. And did it just, like, cry or something? It looked like something fell from its eye. Oh, damn it! You and your... Why... Wait. Where'd you jump to? Did you jump to the moon? Dude. Arrgh. Okay. That's enough of that. Let's just talk to this guy again. Well, did you find that troublemaker? And that loud noise. What was that? Perhaps another moon stair has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door. And that opens only on the eve of the carnival. You never actually do find out how the Skull Kid gets up there. That's left for you to guesstimate, I guess. Um, yep, and this is the thing that fell from the moon. Let's check it. You got the moon's tear. Its sparkling beauty radiates rather strangely. And that's all you get for, from that. All, that's, it doesn't really tell you what to do with it or anything. It's just, yeah. And I guess the moon is just a little bit sad. Shedding che tears here and there, you know? Okay. Uh, anything here that's worth noting? Again, pots, there's more rupees, stuff like that. Cool. Yeah. So basically now we're just gonna head out of the sewer here. Um, it's not a long trip, so I might as well just leave it in, not cut. Oh, we're almost at the end of this episode, actually. 13 minutes. Have some. We have the time to get back, at least. What do you want, Tattle? Oh, oh my God! That was such a high-pitched noise. It hurt my ears. I'm not. I'm never. I'm not talking. Cause you hurt my ears, Tattle. Oh my God. That sounded like a rusty gear or something. I hope you guys don't get that same ear-wrenching effect that I just did for my own voice. God damn it. Uh, something worth noting. Um, sometimes you'll see these things. Oh, wait a second. What's happening? The screen's getting smaller. No! This is not an editing error, people. I'm seeing this on my TV, too. What the hell? <gasps> Dawn of the second day. 48 hours remain. Tries to be so epic and everything. But yeah, basically it does that shrinking screen thing. And it actually scales it pretty well. Like, every time that you go into a new day. Right, and back to daytime with the music. There's no music at nighttime. That kind of bums me out. Whatever. Anyways, this over here, this was the guy I was looking for on the at nighttime before. He can pop his bubble just like that. He looks really freaking strange, doesn't he? He kind of looks like try he's trying to copy a link or something. He's like the, I don't know, the knockoff link. What's this? Green clothes. What fairy? Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my. My name's Tingle. I am the same age as you, sir. Wait. I think I am the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Alas, though. I am already age 35. No fairy has come to me. Damn, dude. Give up your dreams. You're not a Kokiri. So go away. 
My father tells me to grow up and act my age. But why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help me with my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know, we should be friends. What's with you and your stupid song? Yes, yes, in exchange, I will sell you a map of a cheap si uh, for cheap as a sign of, our fr of my friendship. Oh, fuck, I went up past the time limit, damn it. Uh, this is Argo Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.